So JD, um, tonight performance, uh, 5-1 at Hartley. Uh, won all at half time and very much had sort of visions of Saturday all over again. What did you say at half time to get the boys coming out firing up the second half? Yeah, I don't think the first half performance was, was, was up to it. I don't think it was bad as Saturday, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think we followed conditions. So I think um, pitches now are, are difficult. Um, and that's no disrespect to Hartley. I think most pitches um, are, are difficult to play on. Um, and it's been battered by weather, you know, so groundsmen have had tough times. And today we didn't adapt to those conditions. I thought we took too many touches, gave up possession in our own half. It become where we're trying to make too many short passes where um, we had to miss out the press a bit more. And in the first half, they had loads of legs. They got around us, they got amongst us. And it was one or half time, but they had a penalty. Um, turned turned away. I thought it was a blatant penalty for them, um, which was not given. So it was a little bit forced to come on all. So we just said at half time about just changing just the way we play because you need to adapt, you know. Um, and we did adapt and we got ourselves in front and then after that took control of the game. Yeah, so got got in control and then um, uh, was it you or Mars had the inspirational idea about uh, bringing Jordan Edwards on because as soon as he came on, he seemed to have a bit more about him up front and they see, the game seemed to change a bit when he came on. Yeah, he don't, he don't ever say well when he come on, you know, up against his old club and, and stuff like that. He's unfortunate not to play and start. He's been unfortunate, Jordan, you know, he was um, he was ill a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago now, and we've not had games, so he's been a bit stop-start for him, but I thought he played very well when he come on, I've got to say. I think Ricardo um, kind of done, done, his, done his work for, you know, the hour he had done, and, and yeah, I thought um, when he come on, he done well. So that was Marzas then, not your idea then? Marzas, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give him credit, Just thought, thought, thought I'd ask that one, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and Jamas as well came on, made a difference as well. Uh, got got a goal as well today. All your substitutions made a big impact on the game. Yeah, uh, and, and the thing is with Jamas, he can play in different positions. You know, I think he has since he's been with us at the football club. He has played different positions, and he's come on obviously in midfield today, and he did do well. Um, but I think Jamas obviously pulled out of today's um, pulled out of today's game. Um, and oh, sorry, we pulled Jamas out of today's game. Sorry, um, we thought his performance on Saturday. Was, was below par. Jammer sets himself a high standard, um, so he's come out of today's game. Um, he's had a good reaction. He's come on, he's done really well and he's showed a good attitude. I think the boys need to realise now, we've put ourselves with a very, very strong squad. Uh, if there's an underperformance, individually as a side, you may see yourself out of the side. Um, and Saturday was an underperformance. So uh, you said Jammer's there, so who stood out for you today? Um, I thought the back line defended well, generally. Um, I thought Frankie, um, uh, Brownie Case and, and Rolfie did their jobs, you know, and they defended really well uh, for us today. I think seeing Brad on the pitch is, is good for us. Um, ten weeks out was a long time. Um, it was very frustrating for the lad. Um, and he's come back and got two and two, you know, from his two. Um, so that and, uh, pleasing as well. Brad's goal, Peach. Great finish. Um, Brad is, that's what Brad can do. Um, he can score a goal out of nothing and really is the kind of goal out of nothing when he's drove inside. It's a, it's a tremendous finish. But Brad's got, a, Brad's, Brad's got that in him. You know, he's, uh, he's someone that we, um, we love and, you know, he's, he's done brilliant for us since we've been at the football club and he'll score more. So looking forward to Saturday. Uh, Hendon home. Thoughts? Uh, extremely, extremely tough. Um, they have, um, been unfortunate this year. They, they didn't have a great start. They're a bit of indifferent. They're good cup runs in the FA Cup, and you know, um, and that kind of hampered and a bit stop start. If you look at their eleven on paper and their squad, it's a good side. They have uh, players who have played this level and done really well at this level. Um, Hendon at the end of the season will not be in the position they're in. They're, there's not a chance in that. Um, they've got a good management team. They coach well. Um, it's a derby, um, so we have to be very good when we played them away. Uh, we drew, but they deserve to beat us. They should have beat us on the night. So uh, we have to be very, very good um, to beat Hendon. Uh, that will be um, that will be a tough competitive game for us. One final question: uh, If you were to rate today's game out of ten, what would you score us? Seven. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again Saturday. Yeah.